Today, we'll be learning about 3D wave interference. In the last video, we covered constructive and destructive interference using 1D wave diagrams. Remember that constructive interference is when two in-phase waves combine to form a wave that is larger in amplitude, while destructive interference is when two out-of-phase waves combine to cancel each other out. To review, which of these 1D wave diagrams represents the combination of two in-phase waves? That's right, the two waves add together to make one larger wave. These same principles could be applied to two-dimensional and three-dimensional waves. Since electrons and atoms behave as three-dimensional waves, let's investigate wave interference in 3D waves. Instead of representing a wave as a 1D line function, the simplest 3D wave is represented by a sphere. Since it would be difficult to draw a 3D sphere every time we need to represent a 3D wave, let's use a circle to represent our 3D waves. Recall that in our one-dimensional waves, we can have different phases, positive and negative. The same is true in 3D. For 3D waves, we use different shading to represent the different phases. So, an unshaded wave would have one phase, and a shaded wave will have the opposite phase. When two 3D waves are in phase, they are drawn as identical spheres with the same shading. What do you think will happen when two in-phase 3D waves combine? When two in-phase 3D waves combine, they form one larger sphere that contains the additive volumes of the two spheres. Think of it this way. When you bake a batch of cookies, you make all of your dough balls the same size so that when you bake them, all of the cookies will be the same size. However, if you want to make one giant cookie, you can combine two of the cookie dough balls into one. When you bake this cookie, it will be much larger than the rest of your cookies. When two 3D waves are out of phase, one sphere is shaded to show that it is the opposite of the other sphere. Which of the following spheres will cancel each other out? That's right. When two out of phase 3D waves are the same size, they will combine to cancel each other out. Now that we've learned about interference in 1D and 3D waves, we can see how they are similar. When two in phase 1D waves come together, they form a wave larger in amplitude, while when two in phase 3D waves come together, they form a sphere that is larger in size. Similarly, when two out of phase 1D waves combine, they cancel out. And the same occurs for 3D waves when the spheres cancel each other out.